Si. Now I'm going to put the resonator on top of this and try. Hello, my name's Rex Basterfield, and this is an introduction and demo of my Corkum Rank 2, which is a pipe organ simulator. I hope the opening video showed you that there are two types of pipe. There's the flue pipe and the reed pipe, and they sound distinctively different and operate in different ways. The original Qualcomm Rank focused only on flue pipe sounds, and uh, the Rank 2 uh, gives you the option of either of the two types here. So you can select flue pipes or reed pipes, which give you a different sound generating system. The flue pipe system is largely unchanged uh, from the uh, original Qualcomm Rank. So you can, it's an additive oscillator, you can create uh, a partial constructed uh, waveform from each of the harmonic sliders here, and also a sub. Um, uh, there's, if I zero those sliders for a moment, you can produce a wind sound, Turn the shift down there. Set the colour. Apply a chiff, which is when the pipe starts to speak before it's getting to full speech. There are various harmonic recipes, each have their own characterful sound, and you can have the wind sound which is either open or stopped. Stopped gives more odd harmonics for a uh, more odd harmonics for a closed 
pipe. The reed pipe system uh, you could describe as uh, subtractive as opposed to additive. What we have is a selection of 15 reed sounds which I've created in the Quirk and Wave Maker 4 based on the uh, literature I could find about waveforms, pressure waves and so on. Uh, this raw sound excites uh, a bank of 16 tracking tuned bandpass filters. If you just want to hear the raw reed sound you could mix that in. I'll just turn the filters down and the reed up. So by controlling the level of the filters, the individual harmonics of which created by the filters, you can make all sorts of sounds from the basic reed sound. If I uh, go back to this one. And you can mix in the original reed sound. To make it more buzzy. Add harmonics above 16. We can mix in some basic uh, wind sound. It's quite a low level. I'll turn the volume up a bit. We have control over what I turn the scoop which is the way a reed pipe starts and stops speaking it slides up to the pitch and down at the end of the note so that's no scoop And uh, no two reeds will sound exactly the same, so we can introduce errors in the uh, in the scoop time and depth, uh, which we do with the scoop error one. And I'll describe the error system, which is down here, uh, in a bit. So um, we can make the sound of each note slightly. <laughs> The rest of the uh, controls on the synth um, are global in as much as they affect the reed and the flue pipes in a, a similar way. We can affect the uh, the footage, so 8 foot is uh, A equals 440 piano type tuning. <laughs> And we can also play in unison, which doesn't mean lots of oscillators. It means that it's when you press a C, you get a C, and if you go up to quint, you get a G. So it moves up exactly half an octave, which can be useful when using multiple instances of the rank 2. The Celeste function here is a small detuning which is in Hertz and it allows you to have two or more instances detuned from each other which you would get in a, a real pipe organ Celeste rank. You would use the two keyboard scaling knobs if you wish the, the higher notes to have a different harmonic balance and you've got a control for the odd and the even. Not so easy to demonstrate but this is at the low end. but you do get a different harmonic recipe uh, smoothed across the uh, compass of the keyboard. 
to get even more variation between uh, pipes, because no two pipes speak exactly the same, you can introduce what I call voicing errors. Uh, these affect the pitch, the level of odd harmonics, and the level of even harmonics. Um, previously, on the original rank, there were three fixed tables for errors, but now, as I will show you in a bit, we've got a, a graphical system whereby we can tune or voice each note individually. These knobs set the amount of deviation from the voicing graph uh, error generator. We have a Vox Humana system, which is a travelling formant uh, based on a, a real Vox Humana spectrum, and this was an aim to bring vocal types of sounds to pipe organs. And also you'll see the tremulant is on there, which gives a nice pitch and volume wobble to the sound. So I'll just turn that off. And we turn it on. And it runs up to speed. And you can set the amount. And of course the rate of tremulant. This is the uh, volume section, and we control the... Uh, simple level of the pitch component. Select a different one there. So we can hear more noise or more mixture there. And we can control the volume of the pitch sound and the wind component using volume errors which are created on the graphical system below to give an amplitude variation uh, between individual pipes um, which again is, is a natural uh, phenomenon on a, a, a real organ. Now underneath the pipe icon we can uh, decide what division our sound wants to be and a division is uh, a set of ranks normally coupled to one uh, keyboard, solo, swell, great choir or uh, pedal division and you won't hear much difference uh, between these because the effect is subtle comb filtering and phase scrambling but when you play uh, on a system with several instances of the rank 2 then you will get uh, a richer sound due to these phase differences and so on. Um, however if you select the swell division then you get a, a swell control uh, appear here which can be operated from the modulation wheel or with the mouse and the swell box is uh, a cabinet a closed cabinet which contains um, a set of ranks with uh, shutters that can be opened and controlled by the organist with a pedal so So that also simulates the loss of high frequency harmonics when the um, the shutters are closed. Below the division selector, you have this row of uh, brown buttons. This means they're all turned off at the moment, and this is what's called uh, an extension system. I previously referred to it as coupling on the other video, but um, extension is a probably a better uh, description. So when you play one note, you can add other notes to it to give you a much fuller sound so uh, I'll bring in the these this is and that leads to the classic um, big organ sound which I like a lot over here we have what I think is um, a lovely sounding reverb created by Martin Vikanik, if that's how you pronounce his name, I don't know. Well, his surname anyway. Um, which uh, I think produces a, a very nice sound. You can
Now you should turn that reverb off if you're using multiple instances and uh, maybe use your own favourite reverb in the DAW and I've also supplied a copy of my cork and pipe verb um, with the download which um, I think sounds nice and it's more sophisticated than this inbuilt reverb. Down here we have the main instrument uh, volume control. With and this is the width control. This is something new on the rank 2 because we can set the stereo pan position of every individual note. And again, this is set on the aerograph system below. Uh, and you can control the amount of effect on the pan position of each note with the width control. So if you want to pan the whole instrument, you would use the pan control on your DAW for um, each instance. So now I'll talk about the voice in graph uh, error system or deviation system or whatever. You've got uh, six graphs that you can affect the uh, pitch, the level of odd harmonics, level of even harmonics, the scoop just for the reeds, the overall volume of each note and the panning of each note. You can create random deviations like that. You can draw shapes of deviations if you wish and if you want to focus on a particular note you can drag up and down without having to stay over the uh, the note exactly when you set single. If you make yourself a nice temperament uh, graph or tuning graph for the pitch you can uh, save the graph and load it into another preset uh, using these two buttons here. The keys light up according to what MIDI notes you want to play. And you can play those with the mouse. You might find it useful to use the whole function. So you want to detune octaves, so we're on pitch. The pitch amount is there. Double right click, zeroes everything. Tune that one high and this one low. And we can go wild with that if we go random. We can create some dreadful sounds. Oops. What fun. Personally, I really like the panning one. It enables you to pan uh, an instrument uh, across the compass of the keyboard to the left and right. Stereo channels. You can use the panning system to create a, a kind of a stereo split between sections of the keyboard. So. So you can create the impression of two different ranks coming from different spatial positions. Well, there's a lot more detailed information in the background of these controls and some of the terminology used and so on in the user guide, which is quite detailed and uh, it's included in the download. So if you're serious about um, using this, then uh, it's worth a read through that. Otherwise, just um, try the presets out and uh, I hope you have a bit of fun. So, until the next time, bye.